In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you best ways to grow your email list. So I'll be covering the tools and the process that I do to put everything together. Now, using the tools and the strategies that I'll be discussing in today's video, I've managed to actually grow an email list of close to 4,000 subscribers in less than six months. So I'll be sharing all that with you. So this is what we'll be designing in today's tutorial. So before we jump into the tutorial, today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. The tools that we'll be using today are Convert Pro, Divi, and Convert Kit. So Divi, pretty much this is what I use to design my websites, but you can use any type of theme. This will still work fine. And Convert Kit is also my autoresponder of choice. You can use things like MailChimp, Drip, and so on. And one final thing, if you buy any of these products using my affiliate link, which is in the show notes below, I will give you full access to my DV Blueprint course, which is worth $297. Okay, so let's dive into the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that before you collect anyone's email, it's an exchange for something. So either you can give away, let's say an ebook, you can give away a training course as I do, I give my WordPress course absolutely free. And by the way, if you'd like to uh, learn a WordPress, I have a free course which you can sign up using the link in the description below. Now you see what I've just done there. That is how I'm growing my email list. So you have to give something of value in exchange for an email. So the idea here is every time you give something of value and that person gives you that email, it means one way or another they are interested in what you have to offer or the type of things that you type of things that you do. So they'll be looking out into, let's say, for example, they sign up and you give them tips or they sign up and um, they're able to uh, get into some sort of membership. They will be benefiting uh, from this because that's their interest. So this is different to those annoying pop-ups that just come up, which has nothing to do with your interest or what you like. I'm sure you've seen some of these on uh, some of these websites we go to online. So just make sure that you craft something that you can give away for free in exchange for an email. And pretty much that's all you need. So the next stage now is to actually create this pop-up, which is also called a lead magnet. So the first plugin we're going to use is called Convert Pro. I was amazed by the features this plugin has. It is really, really amazing. And uh, as you shall see throughout the video, I will be doing a drag and drop design of my pop-up. And this is what I find amazing about this. Okay, so there's a lot of templates that you can use. There's also great integration, a lot of features. And right now I'm on the pricing page. So as you can see, it's $49 per year. And this is great because it's, it has all the full features. And if you want to go a bit um, uh, pro here, you can actually go with uh, the unlimited sites only for $99 per year. And this is, uh, if you work it out, it's as low as $8 per month. And to be honest, the best thing you want to have here is a tool which does a fantastic job of collecting these leads. And again, you also need a lot of these features. So before you proceed into going into the tutorial, let me just show you the integrations just in case you may be wondering what this works with. So as you can see here, it has uh, the most common ones, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, SendInBlue. So all these are great integrations. They also have Infusionsoft, Drip. So the list is quite long. And if you don't have uh, any of your uh, uh, integrations here, there's also a way to do it manually, which I will show you again in the tutorial. And uh, they also have templates. So let's say you don't want to go into designing all the uh, pop-ups yourself or the lead uh, magnets yourself. You can use these uh, templates and these are great as well. As you can see, these look professional. So let's say you want to go with a theme, which is like uh, maybe a Christmas theme. You can just use this as your starting point or as your base to start designing your pop-up. And uh, not only do they uh, do they offer pop-ups, there's also several ways that you can actually use this to capture your leads. So as you can see here, there's a slide in, there's an info bar. You can also embed this. You can have it after every single post on your blog. You can have it as a widget, as a convert mat. You can also have it as a full screen pop-up. So there's several ways you can set these up. And it's a matter of trying which one works with your website or your niche. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my WordPress uh, website. And as I mentioned, this is running Divi. 
but it works on any type of website. So I've gone ahead and downloaded my plugin. It's called Convert Pro, and you can see it right here. So you're only able to download this once you've purchased it, obviously. And uh, once you've done that, you'll have access to your license keys. So uh, I'll just show you quickly where you can add your license key. So over here, I've got Convert Pro. All you got to do is come over here to Settings, click on License. And uh, here I've activated it, but if it's not activated, you'll have a space here to add your license key and that will be activated. And also here I've got the uh, Convert Pro plugin installed, which gives you extra additions to your lead magnet. So here we have analytics. We also have the grid and A-B testing, and it also allows you to connect to um, your autoresponders, which is very good. So... Now I am going to go ahead now and show you how to build this. So all you have to do is to come over here to the dashboard, click on create new. So this is where you decide what you need to create. So we are going to create a modal pop-up. So I'm going to click on select. So I like starting with a blank template because I, will, I love that uh, freedom that I have when I'm designing this. However, you can use these designs that they have here already, but I'm just going to show you how fantastic this plugin is by just showing you how I built mine from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and click on select. We're going to give it a name. So the name I'm going to give it is just uh, WP for WordPress. Okay. Create. So this now takes us into this interface, which is drag and drop. So all our elements are listed here on the left. You can start off by coming over here to the panel. Now this gives you uh, the ability to change the size of the pop-up. So currently it's at uh, 700 by 400. So we could leave it as that, but if you wanted to change this, you can always come over here and change the width and the height. Next, you can also uh, change the background color. So um, I can actually come in here and select my color from this palette if I wanted to. For this, I'm just going to go with a really dark gray. Next, I am going to add my image. So I'm going to go back to my elements, drag an image onto the canvas, and then all I have to do here is to click on Change Image. Now, the images I'm going to use are already uh, uh, uploaded onto my media library, but you can always upload yours if they are on the computer. So I'm going to select my image right here, choose image. I'm going to drag this into position. And uh, I can just drag these corners to just make sure that this fits perfectly. Right, so that's looking good. So next, I can start dragging all my elements. So I'm going to drag my heading over here like that. And I'm just going to say sign up for a free WordPress course. Okay, so the good thing about this as well is you can drag these corners here to make sure that uh, everything fits. And you can also drag it around. So this is why I was mentioning earlier on that this is drag and drop. And it is really, really cool to design your pop-up this way. And uh, there's very few products out there that actually design your pop-ups like this. Okay, so now that I have this in place, I can always go in and change the colors and um, quite a few things. So let's go ahead and do that. So with this element selected, I can come over here, change the color. So my text here needs to be easier to read. So I'm just gonna make it a very light gray like that. I'm also gonna change the size because this is a bit too big. So I'm gonna reduce that. Yeah, maybe 28 can do. Uh, sign up for a free WordPress course. Then I'm just gonna say now like that. So my text now balances. The next thing I'm going to do here is to come over here to the line height and just increase my line height like that. So that's looking great. Next, I'm just going to add the WordPress logo up here on the top. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on done. And then I'm going to select my image, drag it onto the canvas. And then I'm going to click on change image, select my logo, choose image. So right now you can see it comes in massive. You can just grab one of the corners and adjust the size until you're happy with the size. So I think this works fine. Okay. So the other thing as well is uh, this tool also has guides. So it makes, uh, it makes it easy for you to see where everything is and if everything is uh, centered correctly. Okay. So as you can see, uh, we are actually making progress on our pop up. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add my form. So this is where I can now add my form elements. So I'm going to click here. And uh, there are several that you can choose. You can also have checkboxes, you can have radio buttons, 
uh, drop downs and so on. But we're just going to keep it simple. So I'm going to start off with the name. So I'm going to drag this onto the canvas just like that. Then I'm just going to drag it over here and make it slightly bigger. And center it. And then next I'm going to need, uh, oh, before I move on to the next thing, you can actually make this field required if you wanted to. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to say yes. Click on done. And then I'm going to move on to my next field, which is the email. Drag it onto my canvas like that. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's the same size as the top one. So now I have my two fields. So what's missing here is the button. So I'm just going to click done. And then I'm going to choose my button. So I'm going to click over here on the button. And as you can see, we have several styles. I'm just going to go with the basic one right here, drag it into position. And then you can change the text on that button. So for this, I can just say enroll now like that. And I can also change my uh, font size. So let's increase that to about 18. And I'm going to add a bit of letter spacing. Okay, that looks fine. And uh, I'm just going to rearrange these elements to make sure that I have enough space. So here I may want to reduce my text a little bit. So right now it's on 28. I'm going to bring it down to about, let's say, 24. Drag it into position. Okay, that's looking great. And then I can move on my fields like that. And now I have space for my button. Right, so uh, this is looking great so far. The next thing you want to add here is the actual um, little icon here, which you can uh, click to close this model. So let's do that. So I'm going to come back over here to elements, click on close image. Then I'm just going to drag this over here to the top corner. And the beauty about this is I can actually increase the size of this so it is easier to see like that. And there's also different styles that you can choose from here. So if you don't, uh, if you don't like these ones here, you can also upload your own image. But I'm just going to stick with this like that. So pretty much that's looking good. The next stage now is to configure it. So I'm going to come over here to stage two, click on configure. So this is where you can choose how, how you want this to be activated. So firstly, you can choose, let's say, after a few seconds on the screen. So you can define here how many seconds you need. So let's say it's three seconds. Or you can also have uh, all these other options, exit intent, after scroll, user in inactivity, after blog post, and so on. So there's so many options that you can choose here. And... And I recommend that you do some A-B testing to see which one works for your audience. So I'm going to keep it simple here. I'm just going to select uh, after a few seconds on page. So when the visitor visits our page, after they spend a few seconds, the pop-up is going to come up. There's also other options here for the target. So you can actually uh, target specific pages. So right now it's on entire website, uh, but you can actually specify which pages or which posts you want this to be shown. So let's say, for example, this is specific for blog posts. You can just target all your blog posts. If you want this on all pages, you can just specifically say uh, pages. Or it can be one specific page that you want. So this is where you click to select that. Now, here's one important thing as well be uh, below here. So this, these are the cookies. So what you can do here as well is you can select how you want this to work. So let's say someone has signed up. And ideally, it's quite annoying to still see the same pop-up after someone has signed up. So... What you want to do here is to make sure that you adjust this. So the first one here is hide for X number of days after conversion. So ideally after conversion, you, want, you don't want this to be showing. So I just normally put this to zero. And then for this one now, hide for X number of days after closing. So if someone closes it without opening anything, uh, I would like this to come up after every, let's say, seven days. This is a setting that I normally go with. Okay, so finally, you want to connect this to your autoresponder. So I'm just going to click here. In fact, before I do that, I'm just going to make sure I'm going to save everything. And then click on connect. So these are the autoresponders that we can use. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, I use ConvertKit. So I'm going to select my ConvertKit autoresponder. What I need to do now is to add my API key. So all I have to do now is to come over here to ConvertKit. Click over here on my account settings. And then I'm going to use, select my API key. Back over here, I'm going to paste my API key. And then I'm going to click on Authenticate. In fact, I'm supposed to provide the name for my uh, integration. So I'm just going to call this WP for WordPress. And then click on Authenticate. Excellent. 
Now it's time to choose my form. So the form I'm going to choose is, let's, let's go with the free WP course. I'm going to click next. So the most important here, thing here is the form has to be created beforehand in ConvertKit in order for that to show over here. So on the third step now, this is where I am just going to uh, make sure that I map these fields. So my name is mapped to my name, which is great. Next, I'm going to go ahead now and click on save. So as you can see on the top here, it's set to active. And the most important thing here as well is to make sure you make it public. So I'm going to click this button here. Now it's published and I can save. Over here, there's also this button called mail. If you need any notifications coming to your email, every time someone subscribes, you can always enter your email over here. But for now, I'm just going to click no, because I don't need those notifications. Sometimes they just get too much and uh, it just clogs up your, uh, your email. Okay, so with all that set, now it's time to see if this is working fine. So, so I'm going to close and view the site. So you're going to wait a few seconds and now this is working. So this is the pop-up that we've just created. So as you can see, this is a really good way of uh, creating your pop-ups. You get full design freedom and it's also drag and drop. And this is why I really recommend this. Now, I know I haven't covered quite a lot of the features in this plugin. I'll be doing this in, in the up, upcoming videos where I go into detail and uh, do a, an extensive review of this plugin and also compare it to some of the plugins that I've used before. So as I mentioned before, if you'd like to uh, access my Divi Blueprint course absolutely free, just buy one of these plugins. So the first one is Convert Pro. If you buy that one, just give me your details, your receipt number, and I'll give you access to my course. Or you can buy Divi and uh, also ConvertKit. So if you sign up on any of these three, I will give you access to my course absolutely free. And I would also like to mention that this video was made possible by Divi Cake. Check out their huge selection of DV themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.